the latest chapter after him entering custody in the Bahamas. Some back and forth as to whether or not he was going to resist extradition to the U.S., to the USA, that is. Now it seems as though SBF is agreeing to be extradited to the U.S. as soon as today, following a hearing in the Bahamas, according to a source with direct knowledge and as reported by Bloomberg. So the speculation here is that SBF may thinks may maybe thinks that he can get out on bail uh, during the proceedings if he is in the U.S. He's been in jail for exactly a week at the notorious Fox Hill Prison in the Bahamas, which has long been reported to be really bad in terms of conditions. So uh, that may have changed his mind. There was some back and forth. And now, according to Bloomberg, at least, he may be expected to agree to extradition at the hearing in the Bahamas today. We'll be monitoring this one today over on Coindesk.com. But that is the latest we got. Some sources talking to Bloomberg. Jan, I'm going to toss it to you. What's this really about? What do you think the extradition saga is really about as it relates to SBF in the wake of this arrest? Well, I don't have a hot take here, but I do think that, you know, given that the lawyers have done such a quick 180 in terms of not resisting extradition to the U.S., I think that they are working on a plan to make SBF as comfortable as possible. And as we know, in the Bahamas, they have denied bail. I mean, if you've, uh, there have been a lot of news outlets that have reported on the conditions of Fox Hill prison in the last little while. We know SBF has his own cell in the prison, I think in the medical section of the prison. So he's not um, with general population. He does have his own cell. I just think that probably he is not enjoying it and they are looking at plan B, C, D, and E to see how comfortable they can make him. And that's what I think it's about. I guess time will tell what happens when he does get extradited to the US. If he is convicted on all of the charges that are laid against him, he could spend the rest of his life in prison. So it'll be interesting interesting to see how this is handled once he is extradited to the U.S. I know there are some some people on both sides of the coin looking at whether there are some conspiracy theories here, but I'll just leave it at that. Will, what do you think? Yeah, no, I, I kind of like how Zach put it when this all went down, he got arrested. It was the end of the season, right? It was a season finale. We got the bad guy in jail and it was all over. But of course, it's going to piddle out a little bit more. There's some post takes and post scripts, if you will. And there should be, right? Because there's some interesting stuff here. He doesn't want to be in Fox Hill Prison. It's notorious top five worst prison in the world, according to some people. The State Department even wrote up back in 2020 about it, like the conditions there just being terrible. And it's pretty hard to go from an Albany penthouse in the Bahamas into a jail cell in Fox Hill and try to make that workable, right? So he's going to try to move to the U.S. One thing that was included in that Reuters or was the Bloomberg article was the fact that SPF thinks he can get bail in the United States versus bail in Bahamas. He tried to get bail in the Bahamas. And why does he want bail? Well, I guess he wants to get out, have better conditions. He probably can pay for it. Few is like different ways of getting money. Uh, but I am curious if he wants to get out on bail just so he can do more PR running around and try to get some more support for himself that's what I'm curious about. Like, what is this fixation on getting out on bail when it's more than likely, if you look at the counts against him, he's more than likely going to prison for a very, very long time. So bail is not going to do that much for him. It's going away for, for life, possibly. So I'm curious why that's happening. That's one thing I want to see followed up on. Wendy, you can throw it up to you, get your take on the story. So the reason why people generally want bail is because they know that they're going to go away either for a long time or a short time, and they want to be able to resolve any types of business or whatever that they have. In his particular case, I think that he is a flight risk. Um, I think with a lot of the connections he has, especially politically, I would probably deny bail too if I was a judge. Um, but I did did call it that he was not going to be in general population. And I think the little charade he pulled in the courthouse with him saying, can I take my shirt off to administer my medication patch was a way for him to kind of show that he's not well enough to be a general population. So I don't, I think that his living conditions in this particular jail are probably better than most other people because he's kind of away, even if it's disgusting and gross in the cell, at least he's not in general population because that's a whole different beast to deal with. Now, as far as why he'd want to come to the U.S., it makes sense. Um, again, he's going to have a lot more power, a lot more control over here. It's probably a little bit easier to um, maybe bribe or not bribe different people, especially with the connections that um, his people have. That's just my opinion. Um, Either way, I think that this whole entire thing is a mockery and it's just very sad, everything that's happened.